get on down. Howdy from the Moab area. Today we just arrived at Bride Canyon. There is some designated campsites here, just a few. Even in late January, three out of five were full. So sought after place and it's pretty obvious why. This is a really cool backdrop. Nice campsite as well. Got the truck, big old campfire ring right there. And then the views behind me with that tower are amazing. So awesome place. If you want to get a spot at all, I would come early three days before and cross your fingers. Probably won't get it unless it's winter. Although that being said, it is supposed to be 60 degrees today here in Moab. So we are going to do a little recon around the area before we head out first thing in the morning for an awesome canyon. That's going to be Lockjaw Canyon. I have a few rappels in there and I guess it's supposed to be really spectacularly beautiful colored rocks. And then if there's enough energy in the tank, we will be heading over to Jeep Arch. I'd love to link this all together. It's all in the immediate area. Although Jeep Arch is a little bit off trail, but just barely. So I, I noticed it was right there and thought I'd do that as well. So glad you could join me. We are going big as usual. I'm on a kind of a separate little pinnacle here with a terrifying little jump back to the reality. So did it so we could get some cool shots of Gemini Bridges, which is that dark hole behind me that you can't really see. So anyway, that's the look. Huge cliff everywhere. the bridge. Really rough, Jeep. You'd need 
like modified vehicle or like a razor or something like that because this is crazy talk. crazy to try this. You'll see what I mean. Good morning. We are well on our way down the old bar rim trail. And man, crazy rough. But beautiful nonetheless. And you can probably still see that black slab is the waterfall feature. No, so thank you. There were points to attach a winch to literally drag yourself up or lower yourself down, which I think everything would need, because that was almost vertical in the middle and about 10 feet tall. So, crazy talk. Anyway, we are making short work of the road and we should be at the top of Lockjaw Canyon before you know it. So, we'll see you up there. Jason Canyon. views off the top of this ridge and if you look close you can see the road we came in on as well really wild there huh and then off to Crescent Junction that way Arches National Park in here it's pretty big and then the beautiful Sal's Colorado River and Moab starting to appear there and down is really awesome too wow 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 Here we go. We are officially at the put-in for Lockjaw, and it is looking cool, really cool. Straight behind me, there is webbing and rappel station set up on that dead tree. And I think there's an easier down climb somewhere as well. Here is a look at the scene. So really sweet, time to go big. Really short rappel here. Yeah, it's still sort of awkward. All right, just working away from the first rappel. And boy, a cool corridor right off the bat. Really neat. And then I just left the rope out, kind of ghetto, but I'm gonna be rappelling here, I think, really soon. So I didn't want to go through all that. I think we got to one of the best spots in the canyon. That is awesome. And climbing is pretty cool too. And then I guess this is an optional rappel. So right there it gets kind of steep, but then flattens out and then you kind of sneak across that ledge on the left. I hope. That's what we'll try. See it down there.
Not nearly as bad as it looks. Probably be a little sliding here, but looks like a safe landing, so we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, you really slide. Don't want to keep going though. We'll just pop over here. No problem. So then you want to climb back up here and miss out on that little jungle. And then that way, you can just cruise over here and keep it chill, no bushwhack, no gnarly down climb. All right, looking up, Lockjaw. This is the final repel. And if you look really closely under this boulder, there is a little repel ring right there. And I chose not to use that. I didn't want to drop my rope into the water before going off the edge here. And it seemed like a little more rope drag, especially after I noticed these over here. So the rope is all set up and ready to go. And we'll just huck it off this. Okay, here we are. Hanging out on the last repel. And it is overhanging. All right, there we go. Oh, there I am. And this way back up. Pretty cool. I'm gonna get on there. Beautiful scene. Awesome. We are here. Made sure my rope is all clean and tidy so there's no tangles. And now I've walked really far away from the edge. You can see maybe here, yeah, but there are some rope grooves from people pulling it. They're pulling it straight down right under the rappel. I've walked away from the rappel. Now I have no rope drag and I really want to protect this rope because it's a super skinny rope. So I don't want to mess it up. Oh, and then I make sure there's no knots. It's gonna come on down. Roll! Awesome. Lots of cool stuff here on the ground. All right, special side trip. I just climbed out a little bit of maybe class three of Lockjaw Canyon right there when I knew the rusty nail trail was coming. And that is right up here. And the reason we're doing this is because actually, uh, what is it? Jeep Arch is very close. So a little bonus adventure. So contouring around on the slick rock shelf has made it really fast and easy.
Well, here's Jeep Arch. Really awesome as well. Not quite what it was at the perfect sunset I was here last time, but still very impressive. Highly recommend visiting it, no question about it. Very short side trip, and this way back, way back is going to be super easy too. So, overall, great trip, highly recommended. The uh, Lockjaw is more of just a rookie adventure, I would say. You definitely want to still be proficient with anchors and rappelling, but not as much canyoneering as just kind of rappelling through a beautiful canyon. A little bit of bushwhacking at the bottom, but really not bad if you're paying attention. It has been traveled, there are tracks. So all that was pretty sweet. On my way back to the Rusty Nail Trail now. Want to say a happy ending to Lockjaw as well as Jeep Arch, both beautiful locations. Hopefully you'll get a chance to get out there yourself. And I am back to the awesome Bride Canyon right here and all my stuff. So time for a little snack, head on back to home, which is Grand Junction. We'll see you on the next one.